Hello and welcome fellow truth seekers. I'm Amy and today I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different. I am giving a practical astrology report for December and I did a blog post that has all of the links and the dates on my website amykunkel.com so be sure to check it out if you want to learn more. Um, but let's get into it. I don't want to make this video too long, but I do want to give a little backstory. Um, I have only been into astrology for the past couple of years. Um, you know, I grew up in a fairly conservative household and it was a little taboo to be into astrology. Um, but now I feel like the consciousness of the world is opening and people are kind of waking up and choosing their own truth uh, as opposed to, you know, listening to the dogma and the, the cultural societal norms uh, and really just choosing for yourself what works for you. So... <clears throat> In December, we have a lot of turbulent things that are sort of, um, I feel like it's the waking of the giant and not in a bad way. I want you to just take all of this in as neutral a position as you can. Um, and that's, you know, one thing that I sort of learned through my own awakening process the past five or so years is stepping back and observing the situation. Step back and observe your reaction to um, the world. And uh, you can do that on a, a finite daily basis or you can, you know, zoom way out and do it from kind of like a a global perspective but um, you know essentially the new moon that is today um, I guess I'm late in getting this out because it's December 4th but um, I I want to highlight that it's a new moon which I personally always get kind of a surge of new positive energy during that time um, but this there's also a solar eclipse. I think it was actually last night, but it it's in Sagittarius and that has to do with the media and shining a light on discrepancies in the media. And I don't want to get into it too deeply. I just really want to give you an overview of things. If you're more curious, you can listen to the astrologers that I follow and um, the links are in the description, but Pam Gregory and Bracca Goldsmith are two of my favorite online astrologers. So the discrepancies in the media can be tied back to sort of the disclosures that, you know, people know that mainstream media is essentially funded by Bill Gates. So it really can't be um, unbiased. And so I think that is actually sort of hitting the narrative, the mainstream media narrative in the world. And people are waking up and realizing, hey, we're being kind of fed a line that the elites, the global elites, the people, the Davos crew, the World Economic Forum, they're all telling us what they want us to know. And so I think that's a big theme for the month. Another big theme is facts and information coming out about our health. And I think, again, the narrative that um, the, you know, you're hearing in the, main, in the mainstream media is, oh no, there's this new variant and it's going to be terrible. But if you read the article, it, it's actually, we're expecting it to be terrible. We are researching it we really don't know yet and so it's kind of like hey pay attention read the fine print listen to your own um, you know intuition on what you're hearing about 
uh, these things in the world, especially as it relates to health. Another big theme is banking and finance. And this, I, I believe, is connected to the full moon, which is in two weeks, uh, around the 19th. But essentially, you know, I think maybe disclosures will come out about the financial world. We see a lot of, you know, volatility in the stock market, and that is directly connected to just tweets and things that people in the Fed are saying. And you see how connected finance is to that narrative in the mainstream media, and also just realizing that you know, our money is being devalued or, you know, I just think there's a lot of things that might be coming up about the financial state that the United States is in and potentially the world and how finance and money is probably going towards that central bank digital currency. And, you know, a lot of financial things are going to be just really coming to um, either coming to a head or being exposed here in the month of December. Another full moon energy kind of uh, theme is to stop being fooled and stop fooling yourself. And that is really like, we can't keep these blinders on any longer. Like we have to face the fact that, you know, either that we're being lied to or you know whatever it is in your life that you're trying to keep in the shadows you're gonna have to expose it you you have to get that congruency in your life whether it's with health and fitness like really looking at it and saying I have to stop you know letting myself believe that or I have to just you have to get congruent on what you believe in your values and what you're doing in your life. Um, and I'm saying that to myself, like that's something that I'm personally working on. Um, but just on a more global kind of scale, we have to stop allowing things in our world from, you know, being untrue and it just being okay. So take that for um, what it's worth to you. Another big theme this month is the winter solstice and it's in Capricorn, which is my, uh, I'm a Capricorn. Uh, and for me, that is just kind of being grounded and it's not about me. It's about the winter solstice. And this is going to be a time of incredible personal growth, incredible spiritual awakening, whatever you believe about God or the universe or your own uh, spirituality, that is just amplified. If you uh, meditate, you can connect deeper to your own source. If you pray, you can connect more fully with God. Like this is just a time that we can use to have exponential growth if we are open to it if we sort of turn off that that um, brain, that mind, that thinking about things constantly and connect things more deeply to our heart and our soul. And, uh, and that's, I, I talk about this in my book. I don't know if you follow me, if you know that I wrote a book a couple of years ago about my spiritual awakening and a big part of it is, you know, getting out of your head and and stopping sort of that hamster wheel of thoughts and and making space enough to take a deep breath and connect sort of to the essence that is you. So big time for personal growth and spiritual development here in the winter solstice. Another thing, we have a theme kind of going that's authority versus freedom. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty obvious. The last thing that I want to connect with you on, though, is uh, a potential black swan event. And this is a term that I've sort of learned from macroeconomics. But on the 15th of the month, 
the planetary alignment is the same as it was on September 11th. Um, and I feel like there's a potential for something, something big to happen. And I don't want to cause fear. I mean, it may not have anything to do with me or you personally. Um, it might be like an assassination. It might be the central bank digital currency coming out. It might be like Biden canceling Christmas and, and locking people down. I mean, it could just, I don't know what it is or what it would be, but that is something that is in the cards, uh, if you will, for this month. So that's like right around the 15th, right around the middle of the month. I'm just putting it out there because that's, you know, that's what the stars say. And I know that sounds super woo woo, but I am a very practical person. And I, I feel like there's a lot that we can learn from, you know, astrology and applying this to our lives. So that's all I am going to cover for today. I don't know, was this video way too far out on the woo scale for you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I would really like to know if you kind of like this thing or not. Um, and thank you for watching. I know, you know, I know you have so many things that you could be paying attention to right now. And I just really appreciate you being here. So thank you. Um, have an awesome weekend and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.